Okay, by now you have seen all the videos regarding the Intel B580 and how it's the practical choice for entry-level gamers. It's much faster against the RTX 4060. However, what if I tell you that's not always the case? Now, we've tested both of these cards in multiple live service games on multiple resolutions, and the results were quite interesting. It varies a lot from game to game, and we're gonna go into detail on those games in this video. Now, before we start, here's the specs that we've used for these days, and here's our methodology so you would understand how we have done things on this test. Okay, let's go. Let's kick things off with Warzone, and we tested this with competitive settings, and this one is set on a real-world plunder game, which is full of players at 1080p. We are both GPU ball deck here, and you can see that the RTX 4060 just destroys the Intel B580 on this game, and this applies whether we are just doing the basic running benchmark or on our shooting benchmark. I suppose the only saving grace for the B580 here is the power consumption, which is much lower compared to the RTX 4060. All right, let's move on to 1440p, and from here on, we are implementing upscaling for both of these cards. XCS is for the B580 and DLS is quality for the NVIDIA card. And on our running benchmark, once again, the RTX 4060 is leading over the B580. However, this is a very slight margin compared to our 1080p run. On the firing scene, the RTX 4060 retains the lead. However, it's a bit close. When we jump to 4K, this is probably the first time we see that the B580 is finally catching up and taking that minor lead over the 4060. In saying that, this could also be a margin of error. Moving on to our next game, we have Apex Legends. Let's start with our 1080p heavy action benchmark scene and in here we can see how the RTX 4060 is slightly ahead at the beginning of this benchmark. However, when we did go through the smokes and explosions, the Intel B580 is actually much more stable on the 1% lows despite losing out on the 0.1% lows. Now in static scenes, it's pretty clear that the 4060 is the better card here and definitely has better lows compared to the Intel GPU. But this is static, right? So take both of those benchmarks in consideration. At 1440p, it follows the same trend. You would see that the 4060 has the lead at the start. However, as we go through the action, the 4060 becomes less stable compared to the B580. And I think this is where the wider bus width of the B580 comes into play. Once again, when we swap to the static scenes, the 4060 leads slightly over the B580. One thing to add here is that both cars are consuming roughly the same power with Intel slightly better in terms of consumption. In 4K, the performance scales as well. The B580 is definitely the stable card here. However, for the first time, the Intel GPU is now consuming more power compared to the RTX 4060. In Fortnite, using performance mode, this is one where Intel definitely shows its strength. The B580 starts out on par with the RTX 4060, but as we go through the rest of the benchmark in our 1080p benchmark, the B580 is more stable on the lows despite losing a little bit on the average FPS. B580 on this regard does consume slightly more power compared to the 4060. Moving on to 1440p and we can see that the Intel GPU is actually pulling ahead over the 4060. This is a GPU bound scenario and I think the wider bus width of the B580 is playing a huge factor for its performance. However, we do see that the power consumption of the B580 is starting to ramp up too. At 4K, the Intel B580 is relatively similar to the 4060. And once we started moving into the later part of the benchmark, the Intel GPU shows its stability and why it's the better card over the 4060. Just look at that difference. Valorant is a game that demands a really high FPS, but doesn't really require a lot of GPU capability. And in this scenario, we are utilizing about 90% at 1080p for both cards. At 1080p, we're getting really high FPS for both cards with better lows on the Intel B580 and the running benchmark. When we go into the action scenes, the RTX 4060 begins to show its dominance over the B580. 
Moving on to 1440p, the Intel B580 is now better on the running benchmark and even on the heavy action scenes. We are now getting better frame rates and definitely better lows with the B580. The Arc GPU is now fully maxed out with both cars utilizing roughly the same power. Once again, I think this is the wider bus width of the B580 playing a significant factor here. At 4K, however, both cars are performing eh, more or less the same. There are differences between the two in terms of lows, but they are pretty close to each other. Power consumption remains roughly the same for both cards. In PUBG, the X11 Enhanced API, we can see that the Intel B580 is leading the charge here at 1080p. Once again, we're getting better frame rates and also better lows with this card. This is the same when we go into our mortar scene wherein it's more taxing to both GPUs. You can see that the Intel B580 here is showing better stability and performance compared to the RTX 460. Power-wise, the B580 consumes 10 watts more over the 4060. When we move into 4040p, it's basically the same thing. The B580 continues with the lead on the running benchmark and pushes through on the mortar benchmark. The B580 is also pushing its power here to over 120 watts now. And this is the same trend at 4K. The B580 continues to lead in terms of raw performance and once again pushes its power consumption ceiling about 10 watts more. Now regardless, PUBG definitely favors the Intel B580 which just utilizes that raw brute force. In Helldivers 2, we can see that the RTX 4060 is definitely the more superior card here. At 1080p medium, the 4060 pushes those frames really hard. However, it does consume more power compared to the Intel B580. I think Intel will probably need to tune and optimize their hardware for this game as it's clearly not doing enough to beat the 4060. Now, when we go up to 1440p medium with ultra quality render upscaling the 4060 still retains that lead better frame rates better lows and once again still consuming more power compared to the b580 the 4060 is definitely solid on this game over the b580 when we go all the way up to 4k medium with ultra quality render scaling the 4060's lead seemed to have tapered off the B580 is beginning to be on par in terms of performance and I think this is where the bus with ball neck kicks in for the 4060 giving the B580 that opportunity to cash out. However, in saying that, you know, these FPS are really low for this type of game. In Pad of XL2, we tune our settings to DX12 with XCSS upscaling for the Intel GPU and DLS is turned on for the RTX 460. In 1080p, we can see that this is definitely one of the games whereby NVIDIA once again shows its dominance over the Intel GPU. Look at that. This is not even a contest. The 460 is like what? over 40 fps more compared to the b580 on this disc it is also consuming more power than the b580 which is uh, rational when we go to 1440p it's still the same thing the 460 is definitely the better card here showing pro frame rates better lows and that is still a significant lead over the b580 power consumption here is similar between both cards lastly when we go to 4k we can definitely see the same thing here once again the intel b580 is consuming more power here and is also showing lesser performance over the rtx 40 60, which is pretty poor right now depending on the games tested you will see that there are varying results between the rtx 4060 and the intel b580 sometimes the intel b580 is much more stable while sometimes the rtx 4060 can be a better choice as well or performs better if you just go with bar charts according to intel's 1440p slides they are about 10 percent faster however on the test that we've done here for live service games which contains a varying benchmarks like a lot of benchmarks not just one scene we would find that the rtx 460 is actually three percent faster in saying that this is why i don't really trust bad charts because they don't show the full picture especially on a live service game wherein you actually want to see those status hence why we always do side by side comparisons speaking of which we also did some tests with the b580 against the rtx 3060 12 gigabyte and the rx 6700 xt 
which is also a 12 gigabyte card and the results were quite interesting so if you'd like to see that click this video right here and i'll see you guys over there